I'm Delpi and welcome to today's video. I made a video a year ago about how you could purchase electricity via your smartphone from the comfort of your homes. But apparently that video didn't go so well, so I had a lot of insults and disappointing messages in the comment section saying they were so disappointed in how I delivered the video. Now that was as a result of me not personally having a smart meter. In today's video, I'll be teaching you the process as I've gotten a smart meter now and how you can purchase electricity using the ECG Power App. I'm Delphi once again and welcome to today's video. So the ECG Power app is available on the App Store or on the Android Play Store. First thing you need to know is you need to have a um, smart meter. Now by smart meter, what you need to know is that your smart meter would come probably with a dialer. If it doesn't come with a dialer, you can still run through the process and try and purchase electricity using the app by following my tutorial. If it doesn't work for you, then it means you are not eligible to purchase electricity using the ECG Power. Anyways, let's jump in before I get attacked in the comment section for talking too much. So, a screen recording will be scrolling right here or here. Uh, you just have to follow the procedure. Now, first off, you need to make sure you've downloaded the ECG Power app, which I have already. So, I'll open the app. And if you're somebody who hasn't registered before, they would ask you to register your ECG Power app. Uh, they'll ask you to start a registration, which is self-explanatory. If you have any issues, you can hit me down there in the comment section and I'll guide you through the process. So I'll have to enter my password. Okay, now that I'm in, we are going to look at a few features here, which we might not take into consideration because most of the things here we won't be using. Uh, we have meter management, make payments, notifications, user settings and other stuff. But we want to make payment, so we'll select make payment, and there's an option to pay via postpaid or prepaid. But since we are mostly using prepaid in our system now, we just select prepaid. But if you're somebody who still uses postpaid in your house, you can go ahead and then try that one on uh, as well. Then we select prepaid. Now they'll ask you to add your prepaid meter in order to be able to top up. So there's a setting you can actually add your prepaid meter there. But if you can't add, if you didn't do that yet, you can still proceed to do it here. Now they'll ask you for your meter number. So uh, I have it copied already. I'll just paste it. Now these are optional. I can choose to skip them because I don't have them. If you have them, you can just place it there. Now I'll click on OK and it's supposed to add it now. If it's not a smart meter, it won't add it. Now they'll say, they've given me the names of these, uh, the details of the smart meter. So I'll click, I'll go ahead and click on yes. And now I can top up. So I'll just go ahead and select Vodafone Cash as it's mostly my preferred payment method. Then I'll enter my mobile number. Then I click on submit. Now, once I click on submit, a request to be sent to my smartphone and then the rest to be self-explanatory. You can go ahead and then accept, input your PIN and finish the rest there. So that is basically it. That is all we have for the ECG Power app uh, on how to purchase electricity via a smartphone at the comfort of your home. I'm Delpi and I hope this was self-explanatory. If you have any problem, please hit me up in the comment section. I'll be there to guide you and assist you. Thanks for watching and I hope to catch you guys in another one. Stay safe and peace out.